Hi everyone, in today's uh, tutorial video, I'm going to talk about how you can create a macro uh, for LibreOffice Calc in order to uh, fire a hello world message. Um, so why this uh, tutorial is, is kind of critical? Um, the idea is that it can open the gate to many, many uh, different possibilities because just a push button um, can launch in fact several comments and um, the big issue that i see that uh, we are fixing with this tutorial is that in the past creating a macro was kind of super difficult i mean only few experts were able to do it and more in uh, libreoffice calc but thanks to chat gpt now it's possible to write a macro so that's what we're going to see today so just gonna create a um, a macro so in order to create a macro you can uh, just go over here uh, organize macro basic um, here you can select your um, let's say your, your file on which you would like to assign macro to so in my case i'm going to click a new i'm going to give it a name which is uh, i'm just going to call it obs so that it's easy to identify afterwards so this is the the basic um, uh, console so this is where you write your macro uh, I have no idea about how to write a uh, macro at all, so I'm just going to go over here and just copy and code. Uh, so in fact, I just asked ChatGPT to create me a hello world um, a macro. Okay, so it's as simple as this. Uh, we go back over here. So I said that I wanted to have a macro, so I'm going back over here because the menu got closed. Okay, OBS, I'm going to edit it. So I just paste it. Uh, I can test it by clicking over here. I need to assign it back. So I'm just going to do it. Okay. And now you sign and you run. Okay. So it's hello world. Okay. Um, all good. So now I have it, um, I have it up and running. Next step is about having a button. So in order to have a button, you need to, um, go over here in, uh, I think it was view or tools and toolbar view toolbar and that's the form control okay form control over here you get the different elements that you can take in our case we're interested in a button so but, okay, we have a button now you need to let's say assign this button to the micro that you created so you do right click then you go within the control properties then over here, you get the events, uh, execute action. And now you need to assign it to the uh, macro that you just created, okay? Um, then that's good. Um, then in order to not be crazy, because this is what's gonna happen, you're gonna click, it's not gonna work, you're gonna get crazy. And so as me, you're gonna lose about half an hour. Um, in fact, what you need to do is that you need to disable the design mode. And when you do so, then you click and you have your hello world macro. So, uh, seems not like much, but that's because I give you the straight answer to, to make it. But just realize now that in fact, in terms of macro, you can ask to chat GPT to create whatever you want in terms of interaction with your spreadsheet. So to say, you can technically um, go over here and put some data or whatever you want. And then, for example, uh, click on this button and then thanks to a macro say that now launch uh, HTTP request, an API in order to take all those variables that I input here in order to automatically uh, create or act or do a lot of things. So to say, if I was applying it to my own, let's say, expertise with Matomo Analytics, uh, I could definitely run Matomo as an autopilot because I could, in fact, uh, use all the variables that I'm using up here in order to push the big button and then send all my requests at once without uh, knowing much about the code. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching.